All right, we're going to start off by talking about audio leveling and how to do it properly using the LKFS uh, radar screen. So right here I have a spot. That's basically I've, I've done all my audio. I like the mix so far. I just want to go ahead and see if it's in our specs for the LKFS minus 24 leveling. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up the uh, audio track mixer. Now there's two uh, audio, there's audio clip mixer, which shows you basically what's in your timeline. And then audio track mixer, which is your output. So when you make a file, this is going out. This is your output. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is apply the LKFS monitor to the master track, which is at the end. Now in our timeline, we have eight tracks here. If you have more tracks, nine, 10, 11, you just got to be sure that you're going to go and apply it to the master track at the end, all the way to the right. So how we do that is we open up this little icon in the upper left, this little icon, and it opens up this space here on top of each track. Now, this is where you could apply different uh, audio plug-in effects, and you can affect just the track you're in. So that's why we're going to apply the LKFS, but we want to apply it to the master output track. If you do it to one of these tracks, it's only going to measure what's on that track. So we go to the end to the master. And to apply it, we have this little icon. You see it says Effect Selection. You just select down, Special Loudness Radar. That's that's the, uh, the plugin we want to apply, Loudness Radar. And there it is. All right, and our level that we want to measure to is minus 24. And you can see it displays here that it's already defaulted to that. Uh, now how we open it up is we double click this little uh, Loudness Radar uh, word right here. Double click, opens up the screen. Okay, and we can also double check up here what it's set to. There's a tab called Settings, and there it is, minus 24 LKFS. It automatically defaults to it, so you shouldn't have to change it. So now we have our screen, and now we want to go ahead, and we just want to play what we have right now and try to see what the level will be. So. And basically what it's doing is it's measuring every par all parts of the audio, and it's giving you an average level that's displayed right here in yellow. So when the spot is over with, we see that it's measuring at minus 19.5, which is pretty hot. We want to kind of keep it anywhere between minus 23 to minus 24.5, something like that. So this is hot. So the best way to do, do this is what I like to do first is to ISO anything with VO or SOTS. So in this case, there are no SOTS, but there is VO. So I'm going to ISO the VO. Now, before I go ahead and measure it again and see what the VO is, there's a little reset button. This is what you want to select each time you're ready to, to do another measurement, because if you don't, it's going to continue the radar and add in what you've already measured, which we don't want. I just want to start from scratch now. So you're going to be doing this a lot, resetting and then replaying. So I'm going to just measure. So I soloed my VO. Let's see what level that's at. And if we look up here, you could see the yellow is going kind of minus 18. It's, it's averaging anywhere from like minus 20 to minus 21. So I know my VO is, is hot. So again, I'm trying to get it to minus 24 as close as possible. So basically what I'm gonna do is just, well, the way I do it is I go back to my audio clip mixer and I play it. And I, I, I kind of click it a couple times to engage the audio clip mixer. Uh, and if I play it here, now I can adjust the level. Now I know from experience, if it's measuring minus 20, I need to lower this by at least four dB. So. Right now it's at plus five, I'm just gonna to go to plus one. So I'm minusing four dB from that track. Okay, again, I'm gonna come up here, reset, play this first clip here and see where it's at. And that looks good. You can see it's right just over minus 24. So what I'm gonna do is apply that level to the rest of the VO. This all came from the same uh, VO session, so it should uh, what I do for one should work with the others. If you came, if there's audio in here from different VO sessions, I might have to do each one individually and see what it is. But I'm just going to change this. I'm going to copy it, Command C, copying, and then I'm going to select the rest of the audio, right click, and paste attributes. Okay, and just select volume. And when I hit OK, it's now changed all the VO to the same dB, which is 1 dB instead of 5. So now I'm going to reset again, come back here. Let's play it and see where the VO averages out. And you can see we're in the minus 24 range, so that's, that's perfect. 
Now again, if I had SOTS on channel two, I would ISO the SOTS and do the same thing and get it at the same, that same level. Um, so since we don't have SOTS, we'll continue on. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and play it. I'm gonna reset. Play it and listen to the music mix of my headsets and see if the VO is cutting through the music. So let me go ahead and do that. You probably, you won't hear it, but let me just do it real quick. And already I can tell the music's loud and drowning out the VO. So I know the music level needs to be brought down as well. And you can see even the music, it's, it's kind of averaging with the VO over minus 24. So, so again, from experience, I'm gonna just lower it a few dB. In this case, I kind of know, I probably need to bring it down five dB. So right now it's at six. So I'm just gonna lower it to one. Okay. So I'm doing two things now. I'm gonna listen to the, the VO, see if it's cutting through the music and also what the overall level is. And so let's play it here. And now what I'm listening to is the music is is fine. There seems to be a good mix. The video is cutting through nice. The sound effects that I have too look like there's nothing hot there either. So when it finishes, we are at minus 23.5. That's perfect. We're in a good range. Again, trying to get it from minus 23 to minus 24.5. Um, if it is anything like minus 22, minus 21, you know you're, you're hot. So you want to go ahead and adjust. If you like your mix, the way the VO and the music's playing together, what I suggest then is if it's still hot like, like that, like minus 22, bring your VO down like one and a half to two dB and your music down the same amount, one and a half to two, two, two dB and see if that plays, plays fine. And if your level's fine, then you know you're good. Uh, one thing that happens too with VO, sometimes our uh, VO talent might hit a word that's hard, like maybe they come up with the word the or something really higher than everything else. If that, if that the is hitting like more than minus eight, one, minus 18, what I suggest to do then is to come down, create an edit right after the word the or just ISO the word the and just manually just bring that down. And a lot of times you can... You can do that fairly easily. I do it all the time, and then everything sounds level, and there's no spikes. And you know, again, if you spike on a word, that might bring the average, you know, up higher, you know, more than you want. So, uh, but that's it for audio.